So we're struggling with today's video because I know we have to talk about it, rape, and we don't want to because of the whole Brock Turner case, who I don't know if you, if you haven't been online in the last week. Well, it's all over. You know, I, the typical young white male athlete at a frat party, there's a girl, she's passed out. Supposedly he found her passed out. Who knows if she was roofied or drinking or whatever, and he proceeds to rape her. Well, this is after the party. They're... They yeah, she, and then and they she, they were behind a dumpster. Anyway, the the one thing that was different about this one is two young men, Swedish men, were walking by, grabbed him off her, called the cops, and so there was a trial. The thing that touched me is that they were riding bicycles, and the woman later did drawings of two bicycles and put puts it on her wall over her bed because they protected her. Yeah, it was like that was a symbol of there is protection in the world. There are good men in the world. Yeah. You know, that, and I, I'm hoping that someday my son will be that man. <laughs> you know, like, that's the young man I want to raise. Yes, yes, and he will be. The, see, I think we need to go back, further back, about this whole rape issue. And they, so everyone is drenched in sex, and porn is rampant. Porn and also corporate America using women's bodies to sell products. Yeah, but also, and then also the, the, the women, we buy into it because we want to be pretty and we want to be sexy and, you know, all of that stuff. But well, the defense attorney tried to say that she was dressed kind of slutty, and that's amazing to me that that got in with the rape shield laws because that, the feminists put an end to that, but whatever. <laughs> so it's, I think it relates to sexual repression. And inequality. If you look, you know, I think that the World Health Organization, the UN, did a study on the societies that have the highest rates of rape, date rape, and violent rape. Because to me, it's the fucking same thing. There's no difference. In fact, one is, the date rape is a little worse because it's justifiable. It's always, she was drunk. She was wearing an outfit. You know, it's always victim blaming. You know, whereas if someone knocks you over the head, there's no victim blaming. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just okay, like, I'm, I'm going to back it up. I'm going to back it up. Back it up more? Yeah, because what it is, is... Uh, we, we don't acknowledge masturbation as a legitimate form of sexual expression. So everyone's walking around with this backed up, you know, Ugh. these guys, they, it, to be a man, you've got to stick it in. You can't, just, it. you can't just beat off. And it's like, so, and then we've got porn, like, coming out of our eyeballs. And it's, everyone's horny, randy, whatever you want to call and it. And what I was going to say, we have a layer of inequality. The cultures that have the most amount of inequality have the highest incidence of rape yes. in the culture. Yes. When you tell someone, you know what? She doesn't need to get paid as much as you. She's a chick. She doesn't need to vote. <laughs> she doesn't need to own property. Well, it's, yes. It's, you can stick your dick in a chick that's passed out. Why not? That's my vagina. She does, she, what does she need that for? I can... It's male privilege. Uh, male privilege is the big one there, on a big one. But it's... I still want to bring it back to sexual repression. It is so... That people are that horny or randy. It's just... How, and also uneducated. You know, did anyone talk to him ever about consent? Did anyone talk to him ever... <laughs> you know what I mean? About Here's any kind... The, you, I can't imagine... Here is this attractive man. He's the big deal athlete swimmer. Well, he's a championship swimmer, and that Come always on. is the way. I, when I was in high school or college, these guys were getting laid right and left. Well, I, isn't it also a little bit of, like, arrogance and laziness? I don't want to have to talk to someone. I don't want to have to seduce them. I don't want to have to, you know what I mean, go out of my way. And that's why the judge gave him six months. Because he was, it was like, oh, well, this is what you do. We don't want to ruin his life. <laughs> like, oh. If you see a drunk chick, you stick your dick in her. Like, that's a cultural norm. Like, guys can go, oh, well, come on. She won't remember. She's passed out. She's passed out, and it's, it's the slut stigma. Oh, she's a passed out. She's a slut. She's a townie. She wasn't a Stanford student. He was. Well, and she was not dressed up. She was dressed down. Exactly. So if she was someone's daughter, someone who was connected, who sent her to Stanford, who dropped 50K a year, I think things would have gone a little differently. 
it would have turned out. It's also a class issue here. This is like very much a class issue. This is America wrapped up with a big fucking bow on top. <laughs> this is so America. Yeah. All of the different stages of inequality. It yeah. It uh, every bit. That's why I think it resonates so much with people. Well, her you know her statement was very. The opening line: "You don't know me, but you've been inside me." That's <gasps> that's a hell of a line. Yeah, that that really is something. And now people are coming forward with their stories. Rape of, stories. Of rape. And, it, you know, th there's all kinds of levels of that when, you know, someone cops a feel. Remember in your memoir when you were a young girl, Clark grabbed your friend and copped a feel, and you were like, that's not fair. I backed him out of the kitchen with a butcher knife. <laughs> <laughs> so, Betty, if you've had some kind of rape situation or, I mean, I feel like in a way we're all kind of raped by the culture. How do you find your way back to you and back to sex positive sexuality? I, I, I go to masturbation right away. Generate your own pleasure in your own body and understand how your body functions. Really get into it. I would masturbate. I would have orgasm after orgasm. I'd I would fantasize. I would have these incredible fantasies of male power. Of, of female power, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you know that we're that we're the Amazons. See now, I think also that women need to be raised with a little more physicality. Yeah, like we both had brothers, we had to fight on the floor to you know keep them from tickling us to death or whatever <laughs> they were doing, and it was just like physical. Not don't be well. Orgasm is physical. Masturbation is physical. I think that will yes. get back yes. to your body. Yeah, get in it, stay in it, and enjoy it. And let those orgasms burn that crap off. Just let it go. Let it go. And we have to make some major changes in this culture. We have to do better with sex education. Yes, These please. kids are growing up with porn, and it is not the way to educate a young person at all. America, so, you are charged. It's time. <laughs> yes. Shape up or ship out. <laughs>